Hi everyone! Today I'm going to scrapbook two photos that my boyfriend and I took at his mom's birthday party. For this layout, I decided that I was going to use the mint colored cardstock, the remaining piece of the black and white floral. I want to use the number two to represent the two of us on the cut apart sheet of numbers. And then I think I also used a piece of the remaining blue wood grain pattern paper. So with my layouts, I usually have a tendency to do a horizontal spread, but I like to change it up every now and then. And today I knew I wanted to do a more vertical type of layout and just have it very simple with some embellishments. So I had some of these small acetate words, love and together from one of the ephemera packs. And I was thinking of a title that would work really well. And I was thinking more along the lines of love you and me together. And that's why I also pulled out that pink and yellow ampersand um, that I think I can definitely use as part of the title. Here I am backing the photos with the black and white floral pattern paper. And I'm going to do two layers and do the second layer with the blue floral pattern paper on the back of the blue wood grain. And stack my photos so that I have a vertical type of layout. At this moment, I'm trying to figure out how I want to lay out my title. And since I wanted everything to be vertical, I thought I'll have my title also um, stack one on top of the other. I definitely wanted to use this too, but I didn't like how square or rectangular it was. So I decided to fussy cut it and just leave a thin layer of the tan right around the cream color too. What I also didn't like was how this pattern paper ended up having no tan color border on the upper portion of the two, if you'll notice in my video. Once I'm done cutting out the two, I'll show you what I ended up deciding to do with it. Because it was the top portion of the number that got cut off, I thought I would lay it right on the edge of the page at the top so that it looks like it's meant to be cut off. So I don't need to have that tan bordered edge. I decided I wanted my vertical layout to be on the left side of the page. So I'm gluing down my photos and then now I'm gluing down my two, and that is at the top of the page, like I mentioned earlier, to hide the fact that the brown tan border is not there. And then I was gonna put the rest of my title together. I am placing my ampersand and making sure that there's enough room for the you and me of my title. I thought it was just a little too big and it would interfere with the words you and me, so I decided to cut down the ampersand and just leave it in a rectangular form, but with less of the pink background. To make sure I had enough room for the word you, I pulled out the gold thickers that I wanted to use and put down the Y first before I glued down the ampersand. And now I'm layering the letters O and U right on top of the ampersand to make sure it reads as you and me. I also layer the word me right on the edge of the bottom of the ampersand as well. For the rest of the title, I wanted to use the word together and the word love. So I pulled out my tiny attacher thinking that's what I'd use to attach these acetate pieces to the layout. But then I realized that my tiny attacher couldn't reach into the page. So I went and got my extended stapler and used that instead. I don't like using adhesive um, from my roller or double-sided tape because it shows right through the acetate. So I really like using staples whenever I use those clear acetate pieces. Now that my title's done, it's time to embellish. I pulled out this tag from one of the tag from a packs I had. And now I'm adding some Amy Tangerine heart 
enamel dots. I added the black ones because I thought they would stand out the most. I added it along this line of the title as well as where I wanted to really add all my embellishments. Now I'm adding some puffy stickers from Dear Lizzie. That was a yes. And I had a second pack of those same puffy stickers and used one of those florals and one of the birds and added it along the lines of that vertical embellishment area. I really wanted to use up more of my embellishments in my kit. So I pulled out the Chamel wood buttons that I haven't used many of and used a couple of the pink ones. That one was a double heart. And then the upper area, I added a little flower. And then at the bottom, it was a red and white stripe. And that's pretty much it. I do come back in and put the date on that tag at the bottom. But otherwise, if you like this page, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I hope you have a crafty day.